Have you noticed that a lot of people today are irritable, a little edgy, and anxious? I think I know why. <laughs> hey friends, this is Pastor Ron with this week's Message of Hope. Well, it's not your imagination. Anxiety levels are soaring, anger is everywhere, and there's just a general dis-ease in our culture right now. Notice, those are all conditions of the soul. Could it be what we're feeding ourselves is the cause of this malady? Back in 1992, the United States Department of Agriculture produced its first food pyramid. You've probably seen one. At the bottom are the foods we should eat a lot of, healthy things like vegetables, fruit, and whole grains. And then as it ascends to the top, you find the less healthy foods, which we should have less of, like red meat and sweets. A book I'm reading now is called The Wisdom Pyramid. The author makes the point that what is true for the body is also true for the soul. There are healthy things we should ingest a whole lot of, like time in God's word and prayer and relationships in the body of Christ. There are other things that we can ingest, but you won't want in large quantities. That is, if we expect to have a healthy soul. In Jeremiah 6, we read this. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Look for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. But you said, we will not walk in it. <laughs> Do you want rest for your soul? Ask for the ancient paths. Part of today's soaring anxiety and the restlessness of our souls is because we're constantly taking in the hype, the sensationalism, and the hyperventilating voices online. Spending three to four hours a day consuming cable news and social media and 15 minutes in the Bible is sort of like eating mostly dessert and sugar and starch with a few vegetables thrown in. If all we eat is fast food, our bodies are gonna feel it. And the same is true for our souls. If we consume mostly fast food kind of information, yeah, that's what'll happen. In his new book, Emotionally Healthy Discipleship, Peter Scazzaro says, one of our failures in discipleship is that we ignore the treasures of church history. Our emphasis on now cuts us off from all generational wisdom. It's what C.S. Lewis called chronological snobbery. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. You know, I've read that verse a number of times and I can't say I paid attention to the next line, but recently it just jumped off the page and it says, and you will find rest for your souls. Walking on the ancient paths, walking in ancient wisdom will give you rest. There's so little peace in people today, so much anxiety, so much irritability and restlessness Jesus, in his ministry, issued this invitation, which is really the same invitation in Jeremiah, when he said, come to me, all who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. That's an invitation to abide in him. Let me cut to the chase. Spend less time in current events. Spend less time watching news. Spend less time scrolling through social media and spend more time walking the ancient paths, reading scripture, reading books of wisdom, listening to the wisdom of previous generations. Instead of spending three to four hours a day in what's happening now and 10 minutes in God's word, flip the equation and see if God isn't true and that your interior life gets healthier. Well, sorry, I should have introduced you before. Please allow me to introduce you to uh, John Wesley, founder of Methodism. Mr. Wesley has been a mentor of mine for much of my life. During the craziness of this pandemic, I prayed his covenant prayer almost daily. And I want to pray it now for you. I am no longer my own, but thine. Put me to what thou wilt, rank me with whom thou wilt. Put me to doing, put me to suffering. Let me be employed for thee, or laid aside for thee. Exalted for thee, or brought low for thee. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to thy pleasure and disposal. And now, O glorious Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I am thine and thou art mine. So be it. And the covenant which I've made on earth, may it be ratified in heaven. Amen. Friends, that prayer, that's what's called ancient wisdom. Walk in those paths and find rest for your souls. Jeremiah says some won't do that. You, on the other hand, be among the wise because you walk with the wise on the ancient paths, on the good way. Amen.